Hi, this is Sakala. Welcome to episode 9 of my Made in India series. Today's episode is about a weave. Do you have any idea how many weaves we have in India? According to my research, and I may be wrong here, we have a minimum of two weaves per state in India. Some states have up to five weaves. Today's presenter is from Assam. She's beautiful, she's an actress, supermodel, and is speaking very passionately about the weave from her state. I give you Dipanita Sharma. Hi, this is Dipanita Sharma. Um, our Indian traditional weaves and fabrics are very, very special uh, to all of us. And one such fabric uh, is very, very close to my heart. Uh, I've always been passionate uh, about promoting it uh, the best way I can. Uh, and that's the Assam silk and the weaves uh, from Assam. Um, some of you would probably know that uh, I'm born and brought up uh, in uh, the diverse uh, state of Assam. Um, and one of the most unique and uh, very beautiful gift uh, from Assam to the rest of the country and uh, to the world in general, I feel, is are uh, the various uh, silks uh, from the state, the weaves from the region. Um, I have always been in awe of uh, the elegance and beauty of the Mekhla Sador, the, the Assamese traditional attire. I'm wearing one today. Um, but I feel the true versatility, the true potential of uh, uh, Assam silk remains unexplored largely even now. Uh, yes, it's true that there has been a surge of interest uh, uh, in recent times for the past few years on um, you know um, on all things Indian weaves uh, and uh, different kinds of fabrics uh, which are Indian in nature and uh, Assam silk has been gaining prominence um, with fashion designers uh, using the different silks from Assam fabrics from Assam uh, to create uh, beautiful, unique garments um, and that's very, very heartening and um, I feel perhaps now it's time to talk about protecting these traditions, protecting uh, these very uh, important and unique uh, features of our cultural identity. Um, in recent times I've heard uh, that the the trees, um, the leaves of which uh, the silkworm needs to feed on uh, to create the silk um, has become rare um, due to lack of labor, um, unavailability of labor uh, to plant such trees and other problems such as deforestation and environmental degradation. Um, imagine we are at a risk of losing a part of our cultural identity uh, due to um, the inability of, um, you know, sort of uh, infrastructural inabilities. Uh, and I think it's time we took it seriously and understood the importance of uh, saving our traditions, importance of protecting them. Because protecting these, uh, uh, these very important features of a cultural identity, protecting uh, our fabrics, uh, our silks, uh, is potentially protecting our economy, potentially helping uh, in the growth of our economy. Uh, protecting uh, several levels of employment, uh, creating uh, so much more income um, because it is a multi-layered uh, 
labor reliant industry and we must understand the um, the uniqueness of this industry the importance of this industry and um, and the fact that we are in danger of losing such important parts of our culture. Um, I think collectively, uh, we as Indians, if we come together and put our heads together uh, and start thinking about um, finding solutions to issues like these, we'll be able to uh, protect hundreds of years of uh, tradition and continue to take them forward um, because honestly I can't imagine uh, my life without Nikhila Sador or my life without uh, a Sam Silk or for that matter so many beautiful um, um, weaves and fabrics from across the country. I stand for a Sam Silk and all such beautiful rare um, fabrics from across the country and I hope we continue to protect them.